welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day! This is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about the square and the square root. Okay, so we have here, when we say square, okay, square, when a number is multiplied by itself, the product is called the square of the number. So we're going to multiply the, the number to itself. So that's the square. Okay, so when you have this, just remember this one. Okay, so then number 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and 36 are the um, squares of counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 respectively and are called perfect squares or squares, square numbers. So because we see the square root of 1 is 1, the square root of uh, four, 4 is 2, the square root of 4, 9 is 3, 16, 4, 25, 5, and 36, 6. So this, uh, uh, what does it mean? Okay. So let's have some, some um, properties. Okay. So we have uh, properties of square number. So it's necessary for us to remember this one. Okay. So we have a perfect square is never a negative. Okay. It's never negative. And a perfect square number never ends in 2, 3, 7, and 8. Okay. And the square of an even number is always even number. Example, 4 is an even number, so when you, you square it, it will give you 4 times 4 is 16. So that's, okay, that's 1, 2, 3 property of um, square number. Okay, so let's add another property. The square of the odd number is always odd number. So we have here 5, we need square it, 5 times 5 equals 25. So 5 is odd, 25 is odd number. And the number of zeros at the end of the perfect square is always even number. So when you have this one, you multiply, you double, or you the square root of 10 is 100. So still, it's an even number. Okay, there. So let's have some drill here. So we have here, okay. Which of the following numbers are square of odd number? Again, so when we see odd number, let's remember this one. Okay, I'll show you again. Okay, the square of an odd number is always odd number. So, if it's always an odd number, so where is the odd number here? So, we have this 9 is odd number, 5 is an odd number, 9 is an odd number, 9 is an odd number. If you will double it, so the answer here is 169, 625, 528, and 1089. Because if you will double it, it will give you uh, 169 times 169 will give you 28,501. Uh, okay, and for the 625, okay, it will give you 390,625. Uh, and then um, this this one will give you a uh, no one hundred four thousand nine hundred seventy six and this one okay will give you two hundred seventy nine thousand uh, eight hundred forty one so all has the um, odd number okay so there yeah. so remember the property so you will be uh, guided and another question here. Another question, we saw the following numbers are squares of even number. So again, let's have this uh, properties. The square of an even number is always an even number. So where are the even numbers here? So we have here 1,964 and 900 are the even numbers. The rest are odd numbers. So there. So if you will get a calculator and calculate it, it will give you still this one is even number, even number, and this one will have a result to odd number, odd number, and odd number. Okay. So let's go to our square root, how to find it. Okay. Find the square root of the following. So we have square root of 144, square root of 2500, 
square root of 256, square root of 2916, and square root of 13. I will uh, in, use the, what do you call this, the long division for you to uh, get the square root of the following, except for the 13. I will how to get it using the long division. So we first we group them together. Okay, so what is the square root of 1? It's 1, so let's put here 1. 1 divide divide uh, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Bring down 44. Okay. And then let's put this one first. Okay. The, the 1. So let's use 1. And then let's annex the 0. And let's double them. Okay. There. And it will give you 20. So 10 times uh, 2 is 20. Let's divide 44 by 20. It will give you yes it will give you two so let's put it plus okay so 20 plus 2 is 22 and let's use this two to multiply so four four so it means we're going to use two here to give us four 44 minus 44 is zero so therefore the um square root of 144 is 12 okay next one we have we group the 2500 we pair them so what's the square root of 25 it's 5 5 times 5 is 25 25 minus 25 is 0 bring down 0 so then use this 5 then annex 0 times and then it will give you 100 let's divide what uh, this 0 0 to 100 so no more so plus 0 equals 100 and let's um, multiply 100 by 0 it's 0 so it will give us 0 0 0 there so the square root of 2500 is 50 okay let's have let's go to the next one so let's have this 256 what's the square root of 256 okay so we pair them so 2 and 56 are paired together okay so we have the square root of uh, 2 it's 1 okay 1 times 1 is 1 okay 2 minus 1 is 1 bring down 56 let's use the 1 and annex the zero let's double them then 20 so let's divide 156 by 20 yes we could see seven but if you um uh, what do you call this it's seven but uh, let's make it lesser one so um because we're going to add them so if you use seven it will give you 27 so 27 times seven is nine carry four so once it's more than so let's use six so let's Six, okay equals 26 okay let's multiply uh, 26 by 6 so 36 carry 3 okay it's 8 12 13 14 15 so it gives us so it means we're going to use 6 okay so 6 so 6 times 6 it will give us 156 there so the square root of 256 is 16 let's go to the next one we have here 2916 we pair them together so pair 29 and 16 so what's the uh, closest square root for 29 it's 5 and then 5 times 5 is 25 okay uh, 29 minus 25 is 4 bring down the next pair the 416 so let's use 5, dub, uh, next few, double it equals 100, and then after that, um, let's uh, divide um, 400 by 100, 416 by 100, it will give us 4, okay, and so let's add 4, so 104, 100 plus 1, and use this one four to multiply the 104 
it will give us 16 carry 1 4. so 8 gives us 4 so 416 so there so the square root of uh, 216 uh, 2916 rather is 54 again so I'll show that to you Okay, and the other one for the long division that we had a while ago. And let's go to the last one, the 13. Okay, so we have here, the square root of 13 is, it's near 3. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, nine, 13 minus 9 is 4. So there's, uh, mayroon siyang, uh, sobra. So, anong gagawin natin? Let's use another way para makuha natin yung point something here. Okay. So, we're going to have, okay, this is, uh, 13 is near the square root of 9. So, let's use 13. And it's also near sa um, 16. Yes? Uh -oh. For 16. So, let's let's put like that. Okay, and then after that, let's have this one. So, first is 13 minus 9. 13 minus 9 equals 4. That's for the A. So, ito yung A natin. And 16 minus 9 is equals to 5. So, when we divide 4, okay, so we're going to divide 4 by 5 para makuha so it's 8 so it will give us okay so the answer there is uh, square root is 3.8 okay so that's how we're going to so the answer is 3.8 okay, for the square root of 13 there so my dear parents okay I do hope you learned from this lesson of mine. And so, uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe my channel. And this is Teacher I saying thank you so much for watching. And God bless, stay safe, and always pray. Okay, thank you so much. Hi to Shinobi XD, Tito Bakbo, to Mike Alvarado, um, DJ Betara. Uh, Rinaldo Horda, Annabel Romano Horda, Donna Romano Bitara, and um, Vanessa uh, Alvarado, and also Emmanuel, William, and Sammy Romano. And also to Yip Gaidas Bitaro, hello! Mega shout out to all! Thank you, thank you! Bye bye!